As we look into this world and into its future, one thing is clear, something is wrong with the world. Many see the old ways fading away in a sea of modernization, which to some represents progress, but in what direction? In the Western world, Christian values are being seen as more and more obsolete as disdain for the old paths grow. What has resulted from these changes in our society? These changes have accelerated since the 1960s countercultural movement, a perpetual blurring and often an obliteration of the lines between right and wrong emerge from the chaos. People have more and more freedom, but also have more and more addictions, which are destroying the family unit and its individual members. These problems of the modern world are clear for many to see. But why so many problems in a world full of technology and apparent progress? Author Walker Percy holds the question of this apparent paradox where misery seemingly reigns in a modern western world of plenty in the following way. Why does man feel so sad in the very age when, more than in any other age, he has succeeded in satisfying his needs and making over the world to his own use? For a Christian and a student of the Bible, the problem from which the world suffers is clear. J.C. Ryle, a 19th century evangelical preacher, described this problem. Sin and departure from God are the true reasons why people are everywhere laboring and heavy laden. Sin is the universal disease which infects the whole earth. Sin brought in thorns and thistles at the beginning and obliged man to earn his bread by the sweat of his brow. Sin is the reason why the whole creation groans and travails in pain, and the foundations of the earth are out of course. Romans 8.22, Psalm 82.5 Sin is the cause of all the burdens which now press down mankind. Most people know it not, and weary themselves in vain to explain the state of things around them. But sin is the great root and foundation of all sorrow, whatever proud man may think. How much people ought to hate sin. We're living in perilous times in an increasingly unhappy world. I hope you realize that. The farther people move from God and God's Word, the more miserable they're going to become. And their misery is veiled by the pleasures of sin for a season.